Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater. Welcome to the call. I'm recording today on March 31st. What a wild uh, week it has been. A lot of changes in our world, uh, a lot of changes in the ride share industry, and that's what we're going to cover here today. I am in California. I am in shelter in place. I uh, found out two days ago that this is going to be going on till at least the end of the month, next month. So for a whole nother month, this is my life. I wake up, I go on a walk in the morning for about an hour and a half, get some fresh air, get a little exercise in because my gym, of course, is closed. Then I work, I write articles, I make videos, I do some coaching calls, and then I go out in the afternoon, grab a little food, um, maybe go to the grocery store, come back, and uh, kind of kind of end the day with something on Netflix or, uh, you know, YouTube or something like that. Uh, found a great show called uh, Better Things on Hulu, which I have enjoyed very, very much. So what's been going on in the ride share industry? Let's jump right in. Big news, big news is that the $2.2 trillion stimulus bill includes unemployment for rideshare drivers. Now, there's two components to this uh, bill. First one is your, your basic uh, unemployment. So as drivers, we are called independent contractors, right? That's, that's what the whole big um, issue is in California with AB5. Why are we called independent contractors when we are actually treated like employees? Well, that's because we... Uh, Uber and Lyft don't want to pay any of the benefits that come with us being employees. And um, in this situation, they're not paying any of the benefits uh, for us uh, to be employees. The uh, citizens of America are paying for the benefits for, the, for those of us who are uh, independent contractors. But um, if you were an employee, let's say you worked for an insurance company and you were a W-2, okay, that means you, you get a at the end of the year, your tax document is a W-2 instead of a 1099. Then you can go to the unemployment office or you can do it online, file for unemployment benefits. The, uh, that, that office then contacts your company, verifies how much money you made, and you are in fact entitled to unemployment. That's not the situation with us who are independent contractors where we don't qualify for unemployment. This bill, however, says we are in fact uh, entitled to unemployment benefits. Now, the maximum you can get per week in California is $450. However, if you're, if you're in New Jersey, you can get up to $713. And they have different formulas for how they figure out how much you are entitled to. So you need to check with your state and see what the, what the maximum you can receive is. Now, this new bill, uh, according to what we've, what we've seen, uh, for example, I'm looking at a U.S. Today article. Freelance gig workers can receive unemployment benefits plus 600. So that's the second part. Uh, because this uh, pandemic has struck our economy so much, the government wants to put money in people's hands. So in addition to the unemployment benefits, you're also entitled to an extra $600. And that you can you can get that money all the way till the end of July for 16 weeks. So from April, May, June, and July, you can get an extra $1,600. Let's see. Let's do the math on that. 
um, 16 times 600. That's $9,600 you can get uh, if you're not working for those entire four months. That's the $600, that's the $600 a week, plus you're going to get your unemployment benefits. Now, what we don't know at this point is how exactly we're going to apply and how exactly each state is going to verify that you are uh, a gig worker and how much money you made in the last year, because that'll help determine uh, how much of the unemployment uh, you're going to get. So uh, as soon as we learn more about that at the Rideshare Guy, we're going to let you know. And as soon as I know that, I'll let you know here on this, uh, this podcast as well. Okay, so um, that's pretty great. That's pretty awesome. Now, on top of that, right? So this is like a wealth of, of, of information here. On top of that, in the month of April, everybody who filed the tax return and showed some kind of income in 2019 uh, is going to get an additional $1,200. And that money will either be direct deposited into your bank account um, or uh, you'll be sent a check if the IRS does not have your bank account information. Now, I'm not sure if they if they paid you a refund and you deposited that refund check into your bank account, if they have that information or not. But either way, uh, you would get some money. So the way to figure out if, you got, if you're going to get any money is uh, look at your tax return for 2019. I realize some of you probably haven't done that yet. But uh, on that tax return, line 8B, as long as you have an amount that's between zero and 75,000, you're going to get the full $1,200. If you haven't filed your tax return for 2019, um, then they're going to look at 2018. Um, or you could just real quickly get your 2019 done uh, if you don't have any, any income to show in 2018. Boom. So there's three things you're going to get. Right, you're going to get uh, unemployment. You're going to get the $600 weekly stimulus money, and then you're going to get an additional $1,200 uh, in the month of April. So all of that is really good news. Now I wrote an article about this, and I made a video about this. And what I showed was that, uh, say this goes on for two months, right? Which is what I'm realistically hoping. I'm hoping that in June I can get on an airplane again and travel. So. If uh, if the, the month of April and the month of May, I, I took my full unemployment at $450 in California per week, plus the stimulus of $600 per week, plus the $1,200 one time in April, and my total uh, for two months was over $10,000 or $5,000 a month. That's not bad. That's probably more than a lot of drivers actually make driving in California. So... Um, it really begs the question, why do you want to go and get a job um, when you can make that kind of money um, just staying home? So for a lot of people, this is going to make the decision to work or not work pretty easy. But there's still people out there who need to work now. They can't wait two or three weeks before this money starts to kick in. So uh, what I what I pulled up was a whole bunch of opportunities that you all could, could go and find jobs. Okay, so obviously there's Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, Instacart, right? That's Those are like slam dunks. They're all looking for drivers right now because the demand is so big because so many people are at home, so many people are ordering their groceries. They don't want to go to the store. They don't want to touch things that could, they, could get them sick. They'd rather just have everything brought to their door. There are also companies that are hiring. So for example, Papa John's is hiring. Papa John's is hiring 20,000 people amid the coronavirus demand surge. Um, you can get a job with Amazon Flex. And in fact, if you're a Lyft driver, Lyft makes it really simple. Uh, you can look on your app and you'll see a link and it'll take you right to the Amazon Flex page. So they're making it real easy for Lyft drivers to transfer over to Amazon if you're a Lyft driver. Walmart is hiring uh, up to 15,000 people. Uh, Rayleigh's, which are so check out all the grocery stores. Wherever you live, there are grocery stores. They're all doing mass hiring because people are ordering their food online. People need to go through the store and load the bags up. And then people need to take all those groceries and drop them off at people's homes. So uh, it's kind of like bypassing Instacart 
and, and you go direct um, to the different grocery stores. So Rayleigh's, Safeway is hiring all over the country for drivers. Save Mart is hiring. And then there are other companies like Rody. Okay, that's to be a parcel driver with a company called Rody. Field Nation, online jobs for technicians. There's a company called RYNLY, uh, deliver, delivering packages. And uh, Saucy, delivering alcohol. So um, just go to our, our Rideshare Guy uh, website and there's uh, just a ton of opportunities. So if you want to work, there's no reason why you can't be working and you can do it without uh, really taking your health, you know, really uh, endangering your personal health. And, uh, you know, you get sick, you bring it home, you don't know for a few days, you then infect a whole bunch of people in your house and boom, you know, you, you, people are dying. This is serious, serious shit. Stay away from COVID-19. Yeah. Um, interestingly, I'll share this with you. I, I listened to a doctor, a, a, an ER doctor in New York, and he said it's very rare that people are getting this by breathing it um, from one person to another. You'd really have to be in an enclosed space, he said, for fi over 15 minutes um, with somebody uh, in order to have uh, that, that uh, transmitted to you. He said where most people are getting it is from their hands. So you're touching stuff, and then you're touching your face. And you can only get it through your mouth, your nose, and your eyes. That's how this thing gets into you. So that's why there's such a crazy f emphasis on, you know, washing your hands. So like right now, I, I just pulled out. <laughs> I haven't even left my house. I'm still going <laughs> to wipe my hands down. Just talking about it makes me feel like, oh, my God, you know. Um, so Purell. Wipes, alcohol wipes, uh, flushable wipes at Kirkland, you, all these, you just keep your hands clean, soap and water, wash your hands whenever you go out. I have some Purell in my car. When I go out, I get in my car. The first thing I do before I even touch anything is Purell them. And the doctor said that Purell, he said this uh, COVID-19 doesn't last very long. And if, if it, it doesn't last long in the face of Purell. So it's not that strong. So you just put Purell in your hand and it's going to kill, kill it most of the time. So that's good to know. And then the last thing I want to cover is some, some things I've heard about how you can take better care of yourself during this time, right? We're not as active. A lot of us are staying at home, not going out. So I was watching uh, Real Time with Bill Maher and he talked about the three S's. So S number one is sleep. So important that you get sleep. It's the most regenerative time of the day. Your body needs the downtime to recuperate, uh, especially when we're bombarded with news of this pandemic and, you know, this, this e uh, exponential uh, number of deaths that we're seeing every single day. S number two is sugar. Not great for the body, especially during stressful times. So avoid sugar. Um, high fructose corn syrup is the same thing as sugar. You see it in junk food. You see it in, you know, most canned foods have this stuff in it. So if you can stick to, you know, fruits and vegetables, if you eat meat, you know, good clean meats and uh, water, stay away from, you know, sugary soda drinks. And uh, that will really help you through this time. And then uh, reduce stress, right? So take the time to decompress from the stressful news. Uh, I, I, I am an avid meditator and 15 to 20 minutes on my cushion does me the world of good. As I said, you can watch some great stuff on, on TV. There's tons of movies. Uh, you can read a, or listen to a book on Audible. Um, but just don't watch too much news. Too much news, and you can kind of get overwhelmed and obsessed with it. So, um, And my number one tool for, for sanity is my 90-minute walk each day. I breathe in some fresh air, listen to some music. Uh, I like to listen to guided meditations, even though I'm not sitting with my eyes closed. I can still get into a really good space um, and then enjoy some music or the sound of the birds. It's just a nice way to get back to nature and uh, decompress. All right. So that's all we know right now. I'm really curious to find out how we get our unemployment benefits because I obviously want to get mine uh, as soon as possible. I did apply for unemployment last week before this bill passed. And I said uh, I worked for Lyft. My direct supervisor was Logan Green. I gave the address of the Lyft headquarters and the phone number for Lyft's main office. So um, I got my application in, uh, but now I'm sure I'm going to have to provide some further information so they know that I am a legit uh, worker. I've worked there for four years 
and I'm entitled to my full benefits. So I'll keep you up to date on all of that. Shame on Uber and Lyft for not taking care of its drivers. I've not received any notifications from them saying, hey, you ought to really stop driving to avoid getting sick. No, the, the, instead they're saying, keep driving, risk your health, make money because you won't get any unemployment from us. So thank God we live in a compassionate society. You know, we're fortunate. And uh, this was big news, big news. A lot of people, I got to say, just had this big sigh of relief realizing, wow, you know, I can make $10,000 over four months just from the $600 a week, plus unemployment, plus another $1,200 check, and, uh, you know, whatever else you can do under the table. So um, get busy. Um, obviously, this is a great time to work on your plan B. You got this downtime. Get get to work on your plan B now while you've got the time. So next time something like this happens, you are ready, man. You won't You won't skip a beat. All right. Fantastic. Uh, I love you guys. It's uh, just great uh, connecting with drivers. Um, as you know, I did it for f four years and uh, 26, almost 27,000 rides and uh, loved every minute of it. All right. That's a wrap. Fist bump to all you drivers out there. You guys rock every day. I honor you. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. If you got a story to tell, get in touch with me. We can have you on the podcast. This is Nomad J. J. Crater saying this episode is in the can. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.